Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see on the DAO authentication provider, watch until the end you will come to know everything. Let's open our GitHub page. Click on Repositories. We will continue with the Spring Boot Pagination Advanced Repository. Let's download this. Unzip this file. Import this as a Maven project in Spring Source. Click on Finish. Imported successfully. Let's run this project and just to make sure everything is working fine or not. As you can see at last some query execution related log, so it created on the fly database and inserted some records so if you want to know more about this then watch previous video link is in the description. Server started. For time save I already added bookmarks. So click on the second one. Login page come, now enter username and password. See it's working fine. Now as you saw we implemented authentication and authorization using Spring Security. I will show you what are the things we added. So mainly two files one comes under config and other under service implementation. So in this video. I am not going to modify anything in my user details service so not going to open. Let's open Spring Security Configuration file. As you can see we auto wired my user details service. Now I am going to remove this and instead of this we will use an authentication provider. Wait and watch we will see everything one by one. Now remove this configure method. We will create a new method called configure auth manager and this method will accept one parameter authentication manager builder like the previous method. And now we will add authentication provider for this authentication manager builder. Auto wired this method as well. Now let's create a new method for DAO authentication provider and this will accept two parameters one for password encoder and one for user detail service. Now create an object for DAO authentication provider. Return the same. And now set password encoder and user detail service for DAO authentication provider. Annotate this method as bean. Coding completed. Now let's run and see everything is working fine or not. Server started without end exception. It's now log in because I entered the wrong password. See it's working fine. Now let's see what is what. So starts with an authentication provider. It's an interface and indicates a class can process a specific authentication implementation. Contains two methods one for authenticate and one for supports. So first authenticate. Parameters, authentication the authentication request object, returns, a fully authenticated object including credentials, may return null if the authentication provider is unable to support authentication of the past authentication object, in such a case, the next authentication provider that supports the presented authentication class will be tried, throughout, authentication exception if authentication fails. Supports returns true if this authentication provider supports the indicated authentication object, 
returning true does not guarantee an authentication provider will be able to authenticate the presented instance of the authentication class. It simply indicates it can support closer evaluation of it. An authentication provider can still return null from the authenticate authentication method to indicate another authentication provider should be tried. Selection of an authentication provider capable of performing authentication is conducted at runtime the provider manager. Now Authentication Manager Builder Security Builder used to create an authentication manager, allows for easily building in memory authentication, WDAP authentication, JDBC based authentication, adding user detail service, and adding authentication providers. Now I hope you got some idea why authentication provider, go through all the methods of this class. I am just going through one by one like parent authentication manager authentication event publisher erase credentials in memory authentication jdbc authentication user detail service ldap authentication authentication provider perform build is configured get default user detail service now let's see what is DAO Authentication Provider. An authentication provider implementation that retrieves user details from a user detail service contains some methods like Additional authentication checks Retrieve user Set password encoder Set salt source Tell me what is salt. Let's review whatever we added. I hope you got the idea, if yes then give nice comment and if no then watch again. I already added code in GitHub. Which you can find under Spring Boot DAO Authentication Provider Repository. See here it is. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.